intelligence.ca that he said weren't fairly vetted or even right, uh, but 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 that th this almost sounded like a, a, a cabal on the part of intelligence officials. What do you make of that? What I would say is that if there's private information that someone is blackmailing a public figure and the public figure or someone takes it to the intelligence agencies, uh, you would think it would be private. And really, this is so important that I think whoever leaked it should be prosecuted. Someone should go to jail. If this was an intelligence agency head that talked to the media, they should go to jail. If this was part of the Obama administration, they should go to jail. The reason is you don't want your public figures succumbing to black men. Now, he's saying the information is false, and that's I have to rely on his word on that. But the thing is, is let's say any public official is being blackmailed. What do they tell you to do? You're supposed to go to the FBI and give them the information. But if you can't trust the FBI to keep it secret, and the FBI is going to tell the press what someone's blackmailing you about, what will happen is it will lead to a situation where public figures may be more liable to be extorted or to be blackmailed. So this is a very serious thing. Well, you know, that's and exactly what, what your colleague, Senator John McCain, did with this, as for what you outlined, that he, someone gave this or he got wind of this, sent it and went to the FBI with this information and let them, you know, pursue it. What do you think of the approach he took? Well, I, I don't know what, what all happened. All I can say is when information is given to the FBI, particularly information that people are using to blackmail somebody, it has to be kept private, and no one will want to give information to the FBI if the FBI is going to release blackmail information to the public. This is essentially what happened. Somebody is releasing information that was trying to be used to blackmail it, and it turns out the president-elect says it's not true, but what's more important than any of that is that you can't let the intelligence agencies release blackmail information to the public. It had to either be them, or if, I'm not sure if the Obama administration was in this meeting, I'm not sure how the information got out, but this should not be released to the public. That's crazy. These are allegations. I have no way of ascertaining whether they're true or false, but it's absolutely inappropriate for someone to be putting this out in the public. All right, now I know you have to get back to the